hello and thank you for watching. In this video, I'm going to unbox and review Marvel's Black Panther Wakanda Forever Okoye doll. Now, when this doll first came out, I looked at her, I was like, I'm not sure if this is the style of doll that I want to add to my collection. But then a friend of mine got her, took some photos of her, and I said, I think I need to take a closer look at this doll. So let's take a closer look together. This is the box from Marvel's Black Panther Wakanda Forever Okoye fashion doll from World of EPI. So I am going to take a look at the box first. As you can see, it's part of the Fresh Fierce collection. And you can see the doll inside. Very pretty from what I can see. And you can also see the details of the costume. And of course it says Marvel Studios, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, and it has her name here. And then we also have the Avengers A on there. We also have the Avengers A on the top of the box as well. I'm gonna turn the box to the side and you can see this illustration of Okoye here. And it's very, very cool, very realistic looking. And then of course we have the illustration again back here. And if you wanna pause the video to read about the character, then you can do that. And it also has some information on World of EPI, which is one of, the, I guess it's the company that created the Fresh Dolls and has information on there about that. So let's get this box open. And I'm gonna start from the bottom and I see that we have some tape here or something. So let's see if I can get this open and get the box open. And let's see, let's pull her out. And voila, we have our doll here. I'm gonna go in close so that we can see her. Very pretty, it really is kind of a likeness of the actress who plays the character. And look at the details here of the outfit. This is really very cool looking. What I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna remove her from the liner so that we could take a closer look at this doll and everything that comes with her. This is a close-up of Marvel's Black Panther Wakanda Forever Okoye fashion doll from the world of EPI. And you can see that the sculpt is very close to the actress in the film. And also, I'm gonna turn this around. There we go. So I wanted you to see the intricate designs that are are on her head. Very beautiful. Look at that. It's just so intricate. I'm going to turn her around some more so that you can see her profile. Also, I want to mention that her skin tone is listed as deep. So that's the deep skin tone from World of EPI. And I'm actually going to go in. Look at that. Very, very pretty. I just need, it looks like I need to just wipe her mouth just a little bit there. There we go. Very, very beautiful. She looks so much like the actress. It's really, really great job here. So I'm gonna pull back so that you can see the outfit and I will do a 360 of her so that we can get some of the details. But I did wanna show you that she does come with, they say that it's 11 points of articulation. And as you can see, she does come with a spear and I'll show you that, but look, she can, it bends her at her elbow. Also her wrists are articulated, so they did deliver on that. Her hands do not come off. So that's just one thing that I do want to point out. But at least the wrists are articulated and that is a great start. You can see she also has articulation with her legs and her knees as well. So this is really, whoopsie, this is really good articulation. And let's see, look at the skirt and everything back here. Yeah, this is absolutely great. I do want to take a closer look at her spear. It's really nice and long. You can see very detailed. Also, this doll comes with a certificate of authenticity to let you know that she's authentic. 
also, and this really kind of surprised me, and I don't know why it should, it shouldn't have surprised me, but it did. We did get a display stand for this doll. So it's a pleasant surprise that we get that. I absolutely love it. So I wanted to show you the body and articulation for the new World of EPI body and compare it to the Made to Move body. Now this is the Made to Move body, obviously, and it looks a little bit shorter, as you can see, because the feet are flat. But remember, it has the flexible ankle and the World of EPI feet do not. As you can see, they are automatically high heeled. Also, you can see, just looking at the bodies, to me, this looks like the world of EPI looks more like a woman's body and the made to move body looks more like a girlish kind of body. Now, as you can see, and I'm gonna show you a couple of things, excuse me. You can see the articulation for the elbows is very similar to the elbows for the made to move body. They're very similar also is the same for the knees. As you can see, the articulation for the elbows are very, very similar and can be done in like in a similar way, but the knees are kind of a different story. Although they look like they should have the same type of articulation, when I try to do mine like this, I got a little crack there, so be very careful with that. Don't just go willy-nilly and try to just bend that knee back. Don't be like me, don't be like Miss Sophia. <laughs> just don't do it. Here's a side profile of both the new World of EPI body compared to a made to move body. As you can see, there are certainly some differences in these bodies. I actually see the value in both of them. I really do love this new world of EPI bodies articulation. It's a step in the right direction for sure. And just in case you were curious, here's the rear view. As you can see, there are major differences between the feet on the new body of the world of EPI and also the made to move body, their feet are, you know, smaller and also don't have that arch. They do have the articulated um, ankle, however. Now, finding shoes for the world of EPI's body actually shouldn't be too hard. According to my friend Mark, he says that she should be able to wear Color Infusion, Naturalista, Monster High, and Star Doll shoes. He also said that Rainbow High fits, but may be too wide. So a friend of mine named Mark redressed the Marvel's Black Panther Wakanda Forever Okoye fashion doll in an outfit very similar to this. Actually, it's the same dress, just different shoes. And I loved it so much, I just needed to see what it looked like in person myself. And I absolutely love it. I mean, she looks like a model to me. And I absolutely love this thickness in this body. She's actually wearing a Barbie uh, made to move uh, size outfit. And you can see it's a little snug at the hips and everything, but I absolutely love it. Also, she is wearing a pair of color infusion heels as well. But this is a totally different look for her. And I am in love. I would like to welcome our panel. First, we have CEO of W Cosmetics, Veronique Perrin. Next, we have fashion icon and queen of Mattel, Barbie. And last but never least, actress, model, singer, Alyssa Rodriguez. Alyssa, um, this seems to be a different look for you, and you have a note for me already, and you say, this is my tribute look to Wakanda. <laughs> well, Alyssa, I certainly can see the influence. <laughs> so before we speak to our panel, let's do a 360 of Marvel's Black Panther Wakanda Forever a Koye fashion doll. So of course I want you to see the outfit from all angles before we go in 
And as you can see, their armor and the skirt goes all the way back. And I am gonna go in on her now. So you can see the sculpt and the screening, very beautiful. And then look at the design that's on her head. It's very intricate, very, very cool. And I love that it's kind of a red color. I expected it really to be black, not from the movie or anything, just in, from my imagination, I just imagined it that way. But with this red, it's actually quite pretty. And of course, I wanna see those eyes. Look at that, and look at the sculpt. I am really surprised by the detail here. You can see the necklace comes on and off from behind there. You can also see some of the detail of the armor. I do want you to see what the armor and everything looks like in the front. And you can see it's a mixture of plastic and different types of fabric. Also, you can see her hands can hold the spear but the hands are not removable. You can see also everything looks like it really comes off from behind. You can see more of the plastic. Look at that detail. Very, very cool. Oops, almost got us. <laughs> and you can see the material there on the lower skirt part and also the detail of the stand as well. Let's take a look at the boots here and you can see the boots and also some of the tassels that hang off of the armor. Also take a look at that. I really do like the details that they included with this. There's also a bracelet on this doll as well. Very great detail. And that is the 360 of Marvel's Black Panther Wakanda Forever Okoye Fashion Doll by World of EPI. All right, panel, so what are your thoughts on Marvel's Black Panther Wakanda Forever Okoye Fashion Doll by World of EPI? Veronique, I'm going to start with you. And you say... Meh. <laughs> Uh, Veronique, that's kind of rude. Uh, 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 I guess you've moved on. Okay. Uh, Bar uh oh, what's going on here? All right, Barbie, you have a note for me, and you say this license should have gone to me. She didn't. Barbie, I don't think you're going to be able to sue them for this. <laughs> and Alyssa, I see that you have a note for me. And you say... I adore her! Wakanda forever! Uh, Alyssa, I think she's going to want her spear back. <laughs> Alright, well, thank you, Pamela. <laughs> So Marvel's Black Panther Wakanda Forever Okoye fashion doll absolutely has surpassed my expectations. And I'm so glad that I saw my friend Mark's pictures in the Pink Lounge on Facebook just because it really totally changed my perspective of this doll. And I honestly am so glad to have her in my collection. The world of EPI has really stepped its game up as far as the sculpting and with the articulation. I'm very, very surprised, honestly, but in a good way. So now I'm thinking with the fresh dolls, maybe Dr. Lisa needs to work on the sides of those heads so that we could get something more like this in the fresh dolls line. But with this doll herself, honestly, this is a wonderful, great step in the right direction. And I look forward to seeing some of the other dolls in this collection as well. So if you like this video, and I hope that you did, then please make sure that you click the like button. That's how I know that you like my videos. And if you have not yet subscribed, 
please make sure that you do that today. There's a button somewhere down there. You press that button and then you get notified of when I come up with new videos like this one. So thanks again for watching and I hope that you have a wonderful day.